morning. It is Monday, April 11th. I'm out here at the dog park with my dog, Bagel. Bagel, look, say hi. Bagel loves the dog park. So this morning, I'm just here drinking my coffee, letting Bagel get some energy out. At 11 a.m., I have this student loan exiting counseling thing on Zoom. And then in the afternoon today at one, I'm doing a molar endo. I have a pretty busy, interesting week, so I thought I would vlog it, especially since it's almost one month until graduation. It's April 11th on April 13th it's gonna be exactly one month until I graduate I have to record as much as I can because I won't be able to do this again tomorrow Tuesday I'm actually going to be going to mobile clinic Wednesday I have clinic at school and I'll be shadowing in the morning an orthodontist and then on Thursday I'll be going to mobile clinic again and then the Dean of our school is going to be throwing us a party for passing national boards and then that will be the end of the week busy busy week but I'm excited to take you guys along with me I just got done with clinic for the day it's almost 5 p.m. I'm so frustrated that's just all I can say we have almost a little over a month until graduation and things are getting stressful because we have to do certain graduation requirements. For example, I need a crown to do an exam on, a competency exam, and I need that to graduate. And my crown case fell through. And at this point, we're just running out of time and there's not enough available cases. So it's really frustrating because there's not much I can do besides continuing to ask my classmates and the TCs, which are the treatment coordinators, and my GPDs, but everyone is having this issue, or it seems like many people are having this issue. So it's super frustrating because I have a deadline. I have to be done by May 11th because I can't come back after graduation, mostly because I'm moving to start my general practice residency program, and I'm applying to ortho, so I have to get my application ready, and I have to study for the GRE plus move out of my place and drive to Pennsylvania. So today in the afternoon, when I got to school, I started a molar endo, but it got referred to grad endo. So whatever, there's that. I at least got to access the canals and I got to working length on the distal canal. It was tooth number 30 that we were working on, but then the endo resident came up and they're like, okay, we'll I'll take them down. That also happens at our school, but this molar case would have been very difficult. Before I got to school, I had this loan exiting counseling meeting on Zoom that I had to attend because I'm graduating with student loans and it was very helpful, also very confusing, but I took good notes. I'm gonna make a completely separate video on student loans and what my plan is to pay them off. Hi, Vigo. Hi, Vigo. Hi, buddy. Oh, you're the best thing to come home to. You're the best thing to come home to. Hi, little one. Hi. How was your day? How was your day? Good morning. It is Tuesday. We have had a change of plans. I did not go to mobile clinic this morning because I had a rough night and I'm still not doing well. It is two in the morning and I'm not doing good because my left hand just decided to have a huge flare up. It's just getting worse. It hurts so much. Let me compare it to my other hand. This is like extremely painful. It is now three in the morning. Nothing has gotten better. I had a flare up. My hand is still having a flare up. It's like inflamed. It hurts to move it. And I know that this happened because of stress. I know I was very stressed out yesterday, so it all lines up. I know that's the reason that I got a flare up. Today I'm just trying to relax. First, so this flare up can go away. Second, because I need to just relax. I can't be worrying about the things I can't control. Right now it's almost 12. At 12, there's a town hall meeting that I thought I was going to miss, but since I'm not at mobile, I'm gonna attend that on Zoom. And that might either stress me out more or it might let me know what is possible and de-stress me we'll see i'm just over school i'm actually i love school i'm just over stressing about school and like things i can't control so i'm gonna stop doing that i've been hanging out with my dog of course he's a great de-stressor only one month until i graduate which is insane this morning i'm in san pedro i'm going to be shadowing dr kawakami at her orthodontics office 
I actually got here early, but that was by accident. I was running late because I thought shadowing started at 8 a.m. And then I get here, here's here in San Pedro, and the door is locked and no one's here. And I was like, uh-oh, maybe I came on the wrong day and I wrote down the wrong day on my planner. But no, it turns out they start at 8.30. So that's great for me because that means I am not late and I really thought I was. So this morning I got up, had breakfast. I always have to walk my dog in the morning and sometimes if he gets really dirty, which is usually most of the times because he has so much fur on his paws that if the grass is wet, he gets really dirty. I have to wash off his paws in the bathtub and sometimes that takes longer than expected. I'm excited to shadow today. After morning shadowing, I'm going to school and I'm gonna scan my online and probably assist. So it's the afternoon now, it's almost 3 p.m. I finished shadowing this morning in San Pedro and then I had a rush to school. Well, I thought I had a rush to school because I thought I had mandatory clinic, but it turns out that clinic this week, next week and the following week are optional because this week is finals week and we have two weeks of spring break. I plan to be in clinic because I have to graduate, but I only have to do a couple more things and if I can't get a crown, then there's not much I can do about it. I went to my TC today, TC stands for treatment coordinator, to see if there are any crowns available and apparently there are not, so I don't know. But today, at in 30 minutes, I'm gonna be scanning an onlay, which I'm excited about because then I can deliver it next week and this will get me closer to graduation. So I just finished scanning my onlay. So I finished scanning this cast. I scanned the inside of here and then I milled my onlay on one of these machines. And then the machine gave me, okay. This is my, this is my onlay, and now I'm gonna place it on the cast. Good morning, it is Thursday. I'm at mobile clinic today. I'm excited because I wasn't able to be here on Tuesday because I wasn't feeling well, but I'm here today here are the mobile vans. There are, I think, five trailers. And this is the Veterans Clinic. It's by Westwood, by UCLA. And it's just all veterans that are gonna come to this clinic. So we're gonna treat them. Today's the last day. I'm excited and I'm going to do some work and take you guys along. This is gonna be the trailer that we're in all day today. Well, everyone has different trailers, but this is the one that I'm in for today. There's four chairs in our trailer. Each trailer has at least four chairs. There's one trailer called Thor that has like a lot of chairs. Hey guys, it is now the weekend. Where did we leave off? We left off on Thursday. So Thursday is when our Dean threw us the National Board's pass party. Hey guys, uh, so our Dean of the school invited us to a National Board's pass party. So that means our entire class passed National Board. So he took us out to this bar and we're celebrating. Cheers. I spent most of Friday just recovering from Thursday because it was that fun. Yeah, we had free drinks, free appetizers, and got to spend time with our graduating class. But now it's the weekend. I'm spending it in San Diego with my husband and his family. I'll see you guys in next week's vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. All right, bye guys.